Uh, good morning everyone. I am Dr. Pratibha Saravana Kumar. Today I am going to talk about residual ridge resorption. So the contents of my presentation are introduction, definition, classification of residual ridge resorption, pathology of residual ridge resorption, pathophysiology, pathogenesis of residual ridge resorption, etiology, the consequences of residual ridge resorption, management, conclusion and references. Introduction. Resorption is defined as loss of tissue substance through physiological or pathological processes. The tissues which are remaining following the extraction of teeth, that is the residual alveolar ridge, change its shape and are reduced in size at varying rates in different individuals and in the same individual at different times. So, this residual ridge resorption is an universal disease which causes physical, psychological and economic problems for millions of peoples all over the world. It is a chronic, progressive, irreversible and disabling disease probably of multifactorial origin. Coming to the definition of residual alveolar ridge, it is a portion of the residual alveolar ridge and its soft tissue which is covering and which remains after the removal of teeth or loss of teeth. The glossary of prosthodontic terms defines residual ridge resorption as a term which is used for the diminishing quality and quantity of the residual ridge which remains after the teeth is removed. This problem of residual ridge resorption seems to occur as a direct sequelae of wearing complete dentures. Other important definitions in residual alveolar ridge are the residual ridge and the residual bone. The residual ridge is the portion of the residual bone and its soft tissue which is covering and which remains after the removal of the teeth. The residual bone is that component of the maxillary and the mandibular bone which is used to support the roots of the teeth or that which remains after the teeth are lost. The classification, various kinds of classification for this residual alveolar ridge or this ridge resorption exists. So, some of the standard classifications if you see are brain mark classification, Atwood classification, Mish classification and American College of Prosthodontist classification. Brain mark in 1985, he classified the ridges based on the quality and quantity of the bone by radiographic means. Based on the bone quantity, the classifications are designated as A, B, C, D and E. If you see class A, most of the alveolar bone is present. In class B, there is going to be moderate residual ridge resorption happening and in class C, advanced residual ridge resorption takes place. In class D, it is going to be moderate resorption of your basal bone and in class E, which is going to be the extreme classification, there is going to be extreme resorption of your basal bone. 